Hey, welcome to another episode of BMK's Honey Creek Bees. And today um, we have uh, four new uh, hives that are the new generation, second generation of the Drebbyville hive, uh, AZ hives. Uh, and you can see from the front that they're a little bit different from the uh, original fours. They're a little thicker. They have made the walls thicker, and we'll show you that inside. Uh, a little bit different on the um, the winterized hole. Uh, from that, now these things come out, uh, and this is just a uh, so the bees will go in here in the winter time, crawl across here, and then go in the hive. And so that's so in the, this is the way it looks in the winter, and then this will be the summer. So what we're going to do is we're going to install a nook today, and we're going to show you how to do a, a nook. Um, so we got these from a local beekeeper here in, in uh, Georgia, and we're going to put this uh, in this hot top this top hive right here. Now we've already put one nook in, and we put that in the, the old hive right here this morning. So uh, we got these last nooks, nooks last night, so they sat out overnight up here, and so the bees are hopefully out doing their thing. And uh, we're going to install this hive in that uh, or this uh, colony in that hive right there. So we're, everybody's ready to go. I'm going to hand my smoker here. Karen? Yes, sir. I'm going to grab this hive right here. I'm going to take it around to the inside. Hopefully that box will stay. Take the lid off. So you can see this is the back side of the new Drebbyville hive. And this is the this is the older, the first generation. So they've got these things here that hold this hold the uh, front board on. And now we've got this bar that holds the front board on. So a little bit better. And you can see the thickness here versus the thickness here. A little bit thicker all the way around which was a problem when we put them in because you can see how much taller the second generation hives are and we didn't allow for that when we built the shed so if you're going to build a shed now with the second generation hives you got to allow for a little for a thicker uh, thicker uh, boards and thicker hives I'm just going to smoke them a little bit I'm getting buzzed so what we're going to do, the first thing we're going to do when we open this hive up carefully I'll take my bee brush and brush these guys the rest of the way in I'm brushing off that lid Go. Take that lid. Set it outside. Right, give us a little smoky here. Right. Just gonna make sure these frames move. So what we've got to do is we've got to take these foundations out of this hive and put them in our AZ hive frames. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, probably what I'll do is use my, I'm gonna look for the queen now. I'm just gonna put this over here. And I do not see queen there. Any, any queen, Karen? No, don't see one. All right, there she is right there. There yes, she is, top is. right. There she is. 
So I'm going to put this right in here upside down. <coughs> let them get used to this being in this hive so it's gonna set that right there just like that so now I don't have to look for the queen anymore I'm just gonna pick these frames up and just like I said upside down right in this hive here Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> Slow and easy. Slow and steady. Alright. Again. Upside down. Right in the hive. It was fortunate we saw the queen on the first frame. That was good. Yeah, what's the chances? Angle them just right to get that. There we go. All right, now what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take all these, these here. And I'm gonna turn this like this. And somebody posted a question on a what on the one of the uh, AZ Hive sites, I believe, about the smoker. And in this building, they were asking about using the big smoker, and it, if they used that, it would smoke them out. And it really does. This is too much smoker for this building. Mm -hmm. Even with the vent. Even with the vent. So we we bought this kid smoker. Uh, I don't even remember where we bought it now, but but uh, bought this kid smoker. And, and it works a lot better. I'm 
it doesn't smoke you out, gives it gives it enough smoke, but it doesn't smoke you out of the building. So let's see what we got here now. Yeah, there's still a few in there, but nothing that's They'll find their way home. Well, they should find their way home. But I'm gonna just help them a little bit and brush them on out of here. I'm just gonna set this right out here with the other one. So now what we do is we just uh, take the frames out of, uh, here's my smoker still smoking. Let me get another light here. Still lit, but. Alright, so now what we're going to do, we're going to take frames, <coughs> do you want your seat? Hmm? Do you want your seat? Nah. Okay. So I'm just going to take this frame, we're going to shake the bees off. And then I'm going to use my knife, and I'm just going to go around the edge of this frame with this knife. I'm gonna do both sides. There's a lot of brood there. Mm -hmm. Yep, brood. Wood. Brood. <laughs> However you want to pronounce it. <laughs> Carrie makes fun of me. Washing machine. And my southern draw. Draw. Which I don't think I have southern draw, but you know. <laughs> You're from Alabama. Me. I am from Alabama. <laughs> Alright, so now that I got that done. Get these out of the corner here. Alright, so I'm just going to take now this and use my thumbs and push that frame right out of the top of there. Our foundation. <laughs> I said frame. Mm -hmm. Foundation. And I'm going to bend a little bit of their comb, but they'll fix it. that outside take one of our frames right here get that in the groove there get in the groove there Push it right into that groove there. I heard it pop. 
there, so none of that side's in. see it. Alright, so that's that one done. Let them see the difference between the two frames. What? Well, everybody knows what a Langstrom frame looks like. They may not know the difference between that and the AZ Hive. The AZ Hive, the AZ frames are thin all the way. They're one, they're one thickness all the way, where as the Langstrom gets thicker at the top, and it has that tab. We don't have that tab. Make sure the queen hadn't relocated. I don't see her anywhere. So I'm just going to give it a shake. 